for you. Obvious statement is obvious. Uh, were they, or did they come from something else? Um, so, did Conrad have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No, like, when you think of the rune guards, yes, they, the name implies they were guarding something, but did they not also have, like, other uses at the time? Is kind of what I'm thinking. No, ruin guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. Yeah, like, were they called that... Back then, they, they must have had a different purpose. These ruin guards were known as field tillers by the people of Conrea. Yeah. Field tillers? What a strange name. You know what? Anything you say is strange, I'm gonna slap that back on you! <laughs> it's not like you think. Field tiller was just a code name. The people of Conrea like to give code names to their weapons. Uh. So they had code names for different weapons. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the field tiller came about. Ooh, the harvester of blood. Fought for with steel and blood? Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Lyman doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. They weren't farming for plants. They were farming for blood. And bones and flesh. <laughs> After the destruction of Camria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. Hmm, I wonder why, because no one was telling what to do, and they're like, oh, no one's telling what to do, we're going out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tibet. They had no purpose in life. They went crazy from that realization of having no purpose in life. Perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time, they found their way to various ruins across the land where they lie dormant. Almost like, I really feel like this is taking a Breath of the Wild reference because in Breath of the Wild, there are machines called the Ancients or whatever they're called. And it's, it's like, it, there's a lot of parallels between the two games where you have machines that have persisted for like hundred years at a time and now we're seeing the same thing here where these machines are persisted over 500 years that sounds so sad yes it is once you understand more those details won't mean much to you that's what happens when you have an endless existence without meaning but no matter their past all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Or they will destroy you. Okay, you. Ah, uh, uh oh. Ah, oh, you freaking killed me. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to break a shield without fire. Or Noel. Come on, Noel, get up. Crap. Like, Noel does, like, hit hard, but, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay. This Game's getting harder. Yes, it is. It is 100% getting harder. God, these guys are hitting hard. Fine, 10 seconds left to get it. No it out. only gets harder from here. Oh, yes, it does. Crap! I need to keep healing. Crap! Oh, crap! I need to heal. Oh, God, where's that room guard? I need to heal up. Oh, God, it is gonna get harder from now on. No doubt about it. I don't. Yeah. Got him! Oh my god. Finally! This abyss may struck the talisman. Hmm. Could it be a communication of some kind? It could be something else. What makes you think it's communication? Hmm. This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald. But why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Uh chain command? Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. 
How would you know? Raymond can't read the writing on it. Oh, is that the script of Conria? Oh, Raymond, can Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame and bring glory to his highness the prince. The faith of the enemy in flame. I really wonder who that is referring to. What? Is it Moon of Fate initial operation? The the abyss seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. Really? It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? The Miss Mage came from those rooms. Is it related to me? Is it related to the inverted statue? I'm reading it now. <laughs> yes, you are. Hmm. An ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osile, Overlord of the Vortex. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that guy in the ocean? We weren't able to destroy it last time. It was crushed by the Jade Chamber. What do they want with Osile? Could it be the same as with Dybala? I know of your past heroics regarding Devalin, and I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. So, it's the same thing with Devalin, but a different. Old this time, it's a huge ancient god! The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher! Yeah, well, eventually they're not going to be able to reach that high. Well, the Abyss Could be a different process, but who knows? No. <clears throat> From the contents of the talisman, this operation goes one step further. Mm -hmm. They won't just corrupt Osile's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the field tillers to completely transform Osile's body. Okay. Is that even possible? I don't know. Anything's possible. So, you know, let's just go with it. So, wait. The Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid gun? These nicknames keep getting longer. Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kamiya. <laughs> Though, of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Mm -hmm. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kamiya. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. Yes. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct, okay. and the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. The eye of the very first field tiller? It would seem so. Okay. They haven't found it yet. We still have time. Yes. Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue, thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Celestia. Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. What do you expect? They're always going to find a way. Why? Because the developer said so. That statue, it looked like an Enemo Archon. Yeah, that tall death guard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. I didn't ask the Church of Provonius. I mentioned the Statue of the Seven and Enemo, so I feel like I as you answered if it was <coughs> so the other option. The cathedral. Huh? Nothing. <clears throat> Nothing. <clears throat> Back to the church again. Back to the church of Milan. Back to the church of Anna Orlando from Dark Souls. Huge statue. The grandiose cathedral. The people no. became aware of this was the animal archon on receiving. No. This doesn't ask for anything in return, though. 
Does it? I don't know. Should it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a... We're about to enter the cathedral. And actually, the animal archon is... <sighs> Let's see. Oh, it's just a Never mind. Exactly. Shut up. <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. Wording. Huh? Uh, but we've done everything else together. You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Assuming if they haven't remember what happened last time with me trying to steal the liar, that's kind of a, a big uh, utmost trust thing right there. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Because they don't know you? Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. Because you no. Because you'll probably run your mouth while you're in there. When a non-believer steps on the holy ground, the result is never pretty. Yeah, you might as well invite a Satanist into the church. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. Because you subscribe to a different god, or something else, who knows. That's enough about that. Mm. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the Why? Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Why not? Kinda worked well when uh, we went after Devolin. Meddling in the affairs of the Abyss, don't do that. Why not? Talk to Barb. Using Barb. Honorary Knight. But I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lord of Milligan, you cannot oblige. Yeah, because uh, I don't like the way you borrowed it. You see, as I realize, it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about the. Hmm. Is that a I think I know where it was. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Hmm. Mm, of course. Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue. Other strange stories? Mm, not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents. The tyrant's final fury. Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that Don't many, many years ago. Don't want... To There's listen to the rest of this. Right, you had to go straight to Revelations from the Bible. People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms. So they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It could have been a meteor shower, for all we knew. Right. <clears throat> Later, the theory of the tyrant's final theory became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. What if it did? Why not? Freaking dragons shoot fireballs anyways, or flamethrower. Also, the idea of, like, the final fury as if it was a metaphor for the Bible becoming less, uh, reliable. It's like, what? Oh, you can't follow the Bible anymore? Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. <clears throat> Mm. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incident that might be. Okay. It's okay. Thanks, anyway. There's that pointless word, thank you, again. What? You can never get used to hearing it. Who? Oh, Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? You look dark. You look mysterious. You look like you came out of the basement after like 10 years. Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering and wolving them, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? 
As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. You look like you didn't sleep. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendon. I must also begin to make a move myself. Right. Also get some sleep. I will go as well. Okay. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. But you're also a member of the clergy. Don't worry, I will go as well. Right. Let's go give Master Jean a hand. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Yes. Yes, May, what's his name? Get over here and help us out. Yeah, Every time when, whenever they're together, she always refers to her as Master D. Okay. This could very well have something to do with the defiled statue. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? No, that's not likely. Why? Because uh, they're not impressed by the Big Wolf? Unlike Osile, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolven. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the animal archons of- mm -hmm. Go to Varfindem! Oh god, these guys are gonna hurt. Barbara's a healer, and I'm fighting a pyromage, so, like, Barbara is a hydro mage, who's also a healer. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. We should hurry and find the Lupus Boris. It's the Abyss Order's style. Yeah, let's go! Yes, Ikuyo. I'm not going any further. Why? Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fuzzy animals? That's probably not it. Why, you think they're gonna go after you? It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly <laughs> became a servant of the Seven. So, because he's associated with the gods, like, he, he... You wouldn't step in the church, so you wouldn't have anything to do with the wolf who has something to do with the church. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides... You're the one people like. I'm less likable. You really despise the Seven, huh? There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. Mm, because I'll be like... Mm, I wonder why he hates gods. Mm. Maybe you'll find out soon. You shouldn't place too much trust in me. But at the same time... Don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. I really feel like one of the gods, whether it's Venti or Zhongli or anybody else from any other of the seven, or they kind of screwed Dane's leaf over and he's really bearing a grudge against them. Even if the god in question is a sworn enemy. Uh, maybe he's seen something he didn't like. Don't trust them and don't. Why is your opinion so contradictory? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Mm. 
The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. So they almost pulled off the destruction back then and you're very cautious over it. Well, enough chit chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and- Okay. There he goes. Yes, obvious statement is obvious. You seem to say strange a lot, but I keep pointing it right back at you. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. Does she? Like, it's one thing to, like, trust Venti or not trust Venti. If anything, with Zhang Li, that's a whole other story. He just doesn't bring his own money. At the right of dissension in Liyue, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. When there's a lack of trust, it's best to avoid the situation entirely. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary it never is. Paimon, what are you two doing here? Uh, reasons. Also, Haley Churl up there, not doing a thing, but just standing up there for no reason. Oh, Master Ching! So glad we found you. Yes. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom. But I did not see you. Mm -hmm. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas, but the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? No, and they need Boreas for a reason. They just like to cause trouble. The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archons buddies. Hmm. That is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, on our night, Please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This okay. Is God's spirit. He does not often see people. Do it. Okay, be careful. Do it. Done, and she poofed right away. <laughs> there he is! Over there, it's Razor! <coughs> the Abyss Herald! Obvious statement is obvious. Hmm. <coughs> also, I can't froze. Welcome here. Camera froze. Damn it. <laughs> oh, there he is. So, the wolf's wretched <clears throat> spirit likes to raise wild traps now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your <clears throat> once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Mm. Why, Probably. Wolves never surrender. But this can't go on. Time for another round with Eva's Herald. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. What are you, the Borg? Resistance is futile. From like Star Trek Voyager or the I next generation. The abyss. Okay. Get smacked by Noel. Raleigh should be extra careful because he's a little bit harder than the last time. He was like 36.
frozen. They persist a lot. No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. Mm-hmm. And Poofy goes. Disappeared again. Yes, obvious statement is obvious. At least we stopped it this time. Thank you. You came. Just in time. Yes, I did. Human. <laughs> I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. Because you're so damn proud. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Yes, they did. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial. But, scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap. Oh, you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas' mind? Yes. In the future, my claws must get sharper. Yes. You smelled danger and came here? Oh my god, yes. No, we heard about the danger. I have no doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about too. Contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. 
Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. I can't? It entered into my head <laughs> oh. by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Could it spin? Yes. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fire. Hmm. Although no match for a gun. Fire bomb. Hey, so must have been a rune guard? Did we help? Yes. Yes, you are up. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss is forced to... Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You too. Also, be careful. Okay. I love how all that happy music starts playing. <laughs> oh god, all the happy music starts playing. Playing in the background while they're talking about this thing. I saw her, but purposely avoided. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. Uh, wow. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the police <laughs> forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. So the wolf knows about the possible first tiller. I see. Well then. We can more or less figure out what Huh? Really? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told Exactly. Oh. The strange story Marble, told to you by the Grim Sister. Missiles. Long mis- Tired, so damn tired. Shut up. I'm <laughs> like we need to make a trip to Storm Oh, God. To clean the entire area. Uh, no, no need. No need. Hmm. What do you mean? I remember. Go to Storm Lair. Oh, there it is. You! This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. What are you gonna do? What did he do? And done. What is that? Oh, what the hell? The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. <laughs> all of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hand, and if the limbs of Osail, Overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god, and this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. What an extreme and dangerous operation. Yes. <laughs> then, what should we do with this? Hi, Sorna, put on the guardianship of the Church of Rosvonius. Hi, Church. I'll guard it myself. Okay. Huh? You? You may doubt me if you wish. But I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hand. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. You 
don't trust a lot of people except for me. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussion, we can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. And how are you going to do that? Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them. Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Mm. Oh god, we got it all the way back there. Into the ruins again. Call of the Abyss. Okay, Call of the Abyss. Water, ice, got it, good, gone. So damn tired. Yes, obvious, Steven, is obvious. We didn't make this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Yes, we are. Sure, we need some of the greatest adventures in all of Tibet. Better the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time, and that should take us right to the Ow. Bubbles. Bubbles. Damn it. No. Oh, I thought it was going to fall right down. Alright, that should, that should be here. Speaking of... We're here. An eerie, yes, we are. This dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. Mm. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dainsleaf. Enemy of the Abyss. I did think uh, Dainsleaf was an Abyss Herald, but oh well. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Oh. Something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you!
I don't want him getting back up and getting me hard on. Good, got him. Now I gotta get rid of this one.
that who I think it is? Prince. Prince. The Abyss Herald called her brother Prince. Could that be? Ava. That's still canonical names, by the way. I finally found you. separated for so long. Why are you asking us something that doesn't matter? Your brother knows Dane? No. Ether. We meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows him too? You shouldn't team up with this man. Why? He is my enemy. Uh-huh. Ether. Hold on a second. <laughs> but it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the abyss. Why? That man, Dainsliff, was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. What could he do? A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? Seems like it. And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Karmia, but it's actually the people of Karmia themselves? Hmm. Well, that's why he hates the gods. No, the gods weren't mentioned, but... The whole thing about Dane being Yeah, that's enemy. the home. wherever we are together but I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home at least not yet until the abyss has engulfed the thrones my war with destiny will see no end destiny listen to me Lumine I have already traveled through this world once once you reach the end of your journey as I did you will see for yourself the true nature of this world which is <laughs> brother or sister depending on who you choose your sibling is with the abyss order oh don't be too sad we'll find them again look on the bright side at least we got some really useful information mm, fine uh -huh. that's right at least now as well as the seven game is also mm. part of your sibling too right once we get to inazuma we should keep a, that in mind as we look for more clues So that's who it is. The traveler of Hyman try to call as many details as they can. First her brother all, is with the Abyss Order. Prince. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Mm. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. destiny. No idea. Turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. And Dave is from Conria too. He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. Hmm. That part I really wonder what's up with that. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? Someone who didn't turn into a monster is considered the enemy. But if the monsters 
the Abyss are the same people that Dean protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? I feel like all that is going to be answered in another story. Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out we have inside of the abyss? Thinking over and over, stop nothing. We have many new questions, but few answers. Yeah, you're right. Everything I would try to come up with would only be speculation at this point. Um, we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, Show him what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go. Uh, the search for the sibling. We will be reunited. Chapter 1, Act 4. Interesting, we were actually reunited. Only for a brief period of time. Uh, get gone. But first, grab the chest and get gone. Get. Get. What did you want me to react to? <clears throat> Got a room guard actually carrying Our around. Vendors do not belong in this world. Because either the uh, developers will cause it to reach to an end, or everybody's going to give up on playing Genshin Impact at one point. Mm. The dandelion. But until the abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Okay, so basically, like, obviously this video, assuming if it takes, like, the perspective of the male character, we'd see the female... Yeah, because the male protagonist is the canon protagonist, basically. Yeah. By the Animo Archon? He rises again for the dragon's sake? No, not the Archon. We were well prepared for his interference. Regrettably, your highness, the issue is your brother. Outlanders, your journey ends here. So whoever you didn't choose will be the antagonist and in charge of the Abyss Order. <laughs> actually happened on the cliff, at least according to this perspective. 